379 for gas is not my favorite thing in the world. Another day, another dollar, I guess. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. I know why you guys clicked on this video. You guys want to see the difference between the stock and the sport. What am I saying, sport? The ECS spacers, the 25s in the rear, 20s in the front. I'm telling you right now, if you clicked on this video for that reason, go watch the video that's popping up on your screen right now. That's gonna be the video that we actually dropped the car on H&R Sport Lowering Springs. That'll give you a better idea of where we actually started as far as fitment in this car. And then come back and watch this video and see what happens with the spacers. Um, because right now we haven't put the spaces on the car yet. We're actually on the way to the shop to do that right now. So go watch that video, come back and watch this one. As far as the spacers though, if you already watched this video, you just came back or whatever, they're going on the car today. You guys saw the before and after for the drop with the sport springs. And now it's, yeah, just kind of one of those videos where we have a little before and after. Those are always fun, aren't they? But we are on the way to Worldwide Imports and we're gonna get that done today. I'm gonna stick around because I don't have a ride, so that'll be good for you guys because you get to see the entire process of what we're actually doing today. Before we get into that, if you guys are new, make sure to like the video to help the algorithm and subscribe if you wanna see more S5 content. We have more mods planned, but for right now, I wanted to focus on the wheel setup for this spring. So that was first order of business in terms of when the weather was nice, we're focusing on the wheels. You don't wanna miss it. So, like I said, hit that subscribe button. It really helps out. Let's get to the shop and we'll take it from there. All right, this is what we're working with in terms of the before on the rears. To give you an idea. It's like that much, which is a lot. And then on the fronts, around the same. We'll get proper measurements once we get a tape measure on it. Holy cow, look at that spider. You got a free ride all the way here? Dad jokes. What the heck, dude? There's two? It's the same kind of spider. All right, we have found ourselves in the shop. These are going on the front. ECS 20 millimeters. And then look at the size of the ones going on the rear. Woo! Those are meaty. Also, these are H&R on the rears. Did uh, ECS not have a big enough one or what? No, they just... Jeez. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we need it, that's for sure. If you put a bolt on there that long, it'll snap off. <laughs> yeah. Yep, yeah, that's, that's where it should be. That's where it should have been. driving and might I say the difference is astonishing if you guys went and saw the last video you saw what it looked like before the drop and before the spacers now after it is perfect if you're on bags and you can control it, it you know you might get a little tighter fitment whatever when you're parked realistically like daily drivability this is probably the best I could ask for on this car so it's H&R 25 millimeters in the rear ECS 20 millimeters in the front. We showed you guys a little bit of the install footage, but I wanna get some actual after shots. So that's where I'm going right now, is to just drive, park this thing, and honestly like admire what we just did. It sounds super weird to say this, but it feels like I'm like happy again with the look of the car. It feels like I'm falling in love with it all over again, which is like, as a car guy, you know exactly what I mean. I am so happy with how this car looks right now. I've only seen it inside for a couple of seconds, so I wanna actually park it, 
take a minute to take some pictures and some video. That's gonna be that. All right, ignore the layer of pollen on the car, but it is the season. Oh, yup. That's nice. We are still gonna be expecting a bit of settling on the H&R Sport Springs, so that probably will be, I don't know, a quarter inch lower maybe. That's what we're working with in the front now. With the 20s, and then this in the rear with the 25s. Which is perfect with me. The biggest thing is how it looks from the rear. Look at that. That's what we like to see. We don't have any rubbing with this setup. Only good looks. guys are spoiled because in addition to today's video we got a little something extra going on man this lighting looks good and that's too windy to film in uh we're washing the cars up right now because we have like a kind of not even close to cars and coffee i don't know why i was going that direction with it but it's just a little meat i don't know what to expect i've never been to one of these before but it's a local kind of thing and before we go any further look at that fitment yup that's nice. So throwing a quick wash on the work truck and the S5 because it's finally looking good. We want it to look clean, respectable. What are you putting in my trunk? I didn't put my suitcase somewhere. Yeah, well, I haven't unpacked from college yet. Put it in my back seat. Struggles of the S5. Yeah. Perfect. Taking a peek, you like what you see? Damn, heaven. Uh huh? Sick car, bro. Thanks, man. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. 